Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creation and you may notice that things sound a little odd right now. That's because I'm standing in the hallway to my craft room. So we are going to take a look at my craft room. I finally finished it. I've kind of sort of got it all decorated. And I'm going to try to go kind of slow. We'll just do a little quick pan here of the room. I had to close the blinds because it's so bright outside you wouldn't be able to see anything. But I'm going to kind of go slowly over what everything is and where it's from. So we'll just start right here. So you may have seen this on my Instagram. This started out life as two leaves to a table that my mother had received as part of a table that they didn't fit. So she gave them to me and I had actually seen someone else do something very similar where she actually attached the two pieces together. I wanted to keep them separately. So that is the piece that I wanted over my big comfy chair. This chair my mother actually gave me also. Uh, we're actually going to start out with a bunch of stuff my mom gave me. So you'll notice that I'm not spending tons of money. I'm not filthy rich. But I've had a lot of fun decorating in here. So on this uh, chair, my mom gave me the chair. It was too big for her living room anymore. I have a pillow that was made from a tea towel from Monahan's Papers. Love the crown thing and that's just a throw I had. And we'll go over to the corner here. And I had I bought like a really cheap little Walmart table. It's a little black Walmart table. And on it are some really fabulous books that I have collected. This first one way over here is actually from Kim at Serene Bookworks. I won this in a silent auction. We actually worked together and she gave me my first junk journal and that is it. She is the whole reason I'm in this, so it's all her fault. This is a journal that I got from Nick the Booksmith. Those two pieces are just some happy mail that I've received, and this is my latest journal purchase, and it, it is um, from Emily at Raven Relics. Now I'm gonna pan back, I'm gonna try to go slowly so I don't make anyone sick. I'm gonna pan back a little bit. Um, I am gonna warn you, I didn't clean anything, so stuff is kinda of junky and you're just gonna kinda of get what you get. So this piece is fabulous. Another piece my mother gave me. Uh, she bought this, it was in a post office in Pennsylvania and she bought that, or picked it up, I'm not even sure she actually paid for it. She's such a sleuther of all things. And you'll see that it has these little tiny cubbies as well as great big wide ones that are perfect. So I laid this actually on its side, it's sideways, it should hang on a wall, but I don't have enough wall space for this puppy, so it just sits on the floor. I love, love, love that. And then this is one of the things, and that's just junk I have piled on the top. One of the things I'm super excited for, this, these curtains or these valences um, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. I may turn the light off a little bit. No, I think you can see that. Those, that is watermark taffeta and this gorgeous, gorgeous trim that I have. And I got all that at Hobby Lobby on sale, believe it or not. So I threw these together over the weekend. And then I've got three of these fabulous lights with Edison bulbs. And I got that from Walmart too. I mean, it's not a lot of money. Um, I want to show you my tables. Well, okay, they're really messy, but that's not what I want to show you. These are really way cool. Uh, I hope I can get down here and show you stuff. Those are your two classic Hobby Lobby $30 things full of stuff. But these tables I actually designed and my husband made them for me. And I don't know if you can tell, but if you look in the back, there's actually pipe down there. So they've got pipe across the back of them as well. And yep, that's a trash can and it's full of stuff, but they're just four by fours and then a two by four around the bottom. And then this is, um, I'm not even sure what it is, but it's a wood that once a year, I'm just going to get out my sander and sand it down because it gets messy and it's easy to sand. 
Now I'm going to show you what the view outside this room is because you, I live in the country. So instead of seeing other houses, I don't know if you can see, but way out there, those little black dots, those are cows. So yep, lots and lots of cows around here and then lots of vehicles because we're in the country and we have lots of vehicles. So anyway, that is the view outside this window. The view outside my other window is even less appealing because it's a garage. So I've got stuff. This is actually a piece from my mother-in-law and she just gave it to me and I have a Walmart clock. And then this fabulous piece as well as this fabulous piece both come from Through the Portal, which is a great, great uh, store, online Etsy store, I love it. Holds a lot of my stamps, miniature books you can see along in here, different things like that. Um, yes, my computer sits on an old crock. That's an antique crock that has been handed down in my husband's family. That was a piece I already had, uh, so nothing new there. That was something else that I, this piece right here holding all my glue sticks is a piece I made. Um, my daughter gave me this fabulous, fabulous clipboard. She said somebody gave it to her and it's not her style, it's so my style. And then I'm gonna pan you back up again. I'm trying to go slow, I'm hoping I'm not making anybody barf. Um, so I have all kinds of fabulous stuff. And then this is a shelf my husband made out of some of that pipe as well. And up on the right, you will see this is a gorgeous watercolor uh, made by Stacy. She's Florida Sandpaper on Instagram. She, I had posted a picture of our local schoolhouse up in the mountains, and she made a watercolor of it and sent it to me, and now it has the perfect resting place on my shelf. So, and I just have a couple of knickknacks up there. I haven't really decided what I'm doing with that yet. And so as you can see, I just have another table here and it's just messy. Like that's my keyboard for my computer and my little computer tower. Then over here is another window and it has the same valence, but this piece is lower. And as you can see, this is where I actually do my sewing. So I have my sewing machine here and this little thing over here, that thing is my stand for my camera. So I do most of my filming here and I have a big white piece of um, plastic actually. It's like cardboard but it's plastic and I put that down. Now we're going to get over here. This is a piece that my oldest son left me when he was living here. He said, do with it whatever you want, mom. And so my youngest son helped me decoupage this. We had a really fun evening and just slapped paper on it, then slapped some Tim Holtz butterflies and flowers. It was a lot of fun. My hubby uh, uh, changed out the pull handles. And so that is where I keep a lot of my fabric. This is my printer. It's a nice Canon printer. I'm kind of Canon loyal, I love that. But this one will print on 12 by 12 paper as well. And then above that is an Edith Holden book page that I love. And I simply bought a frame from um, Walmart again, put some lace on it, put the page in there, nothing expensive. So that's kind of all the artwork I have. I'm debating about showing you this next part. You may want to cover your eyes. This is my closet. And if you are like most people, you have a closet that looks like this. This is my closet. And I have over on this side um, things that are hanging to dry. I have my big, this is the plastic piece that I have. I have pieces for my um, scan and cut. I'll even turn the light on in here real quick if I can find the light switch. The light switches are ridiculously high in this house. It's a 1920s farmhouse. So, and then junk, 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 but 
I do actually have an organizer. More junk. More junk. More junk. Wait till you see the floor. More junk. More junk. More stuff just piled up in here. So that is the classic junky closet that everybody has. And just in case you thought I was perfect, I literally have not touched these shelves. On the top, I have um, those green shelves are from my cousin Anne Marie. And um, she is, I'm trying to think of what it is. I'll post it below. It's something junky. Uh, so I love her stuff. And there's a Longa Burger basket if you know what those are. That is an old Longa Burger basket that holds all my sewing stuff. And on this top shelf, I have shoe boxes and things like that. And there's my design transfers. And there's my Avengers bucket. Yes, I got that full of popcorn. And then on this shelf are a bunch of my old um, journals that I've made, different things that I've made that I haven't sold. Um, they, I just made them for me. And then this next shelf is junk. Um, it's a bunch of books. I've bought ledgers. I've got tons of ledgers. I have old Harry Potter books. There's that desk book, secretary's desk book that I take a lot of stuff out of and use that. And then this shelf is full of glues and coffee and hardboard, things like that. The next shelf has papers to be coffee dyed. Down on the bottom is my Elna sewing machine, which I save for really special projects, and my scanning cut. And then I have a whole nother shelf on the bottom that's boxes full of stuff. There's my coffee dyed papers, all kinds of different things, more stuff, and then more stuff. This is about as organized as I ever get. I mean, I sort of have things pulled apart and ribbons put together and scissors and stuff like that, but not really. Yeah, yep, yep, that's about as good as it gets. So that is all of that. And then last but not least, hanging on the back of my door, this is really super cool. I'm gonna start here and then pan back. The little blue apron that you see, that was my mother's. And then this dress and the apron that's on the left was, I'm not even sure how many greats, it's from the late 1800s. This dress belonged actually to a grandmother. So I think it's a great, great, great grandmother. And she was really tall because that dress fits me and I'm 5'8", so she was really tall. And of course, last but not least, I have to share my awesome rug. This is my leopard print rug. And I got this from Ruggable. I figured if I'm going to put down a rug, I need something that I can throw in the washing machine. So this is in my craft room and it's just like that. And I'll show you why. See my floors. My husband ripped up all the carpet that was in here to discover that something had been glued to the floor and we cannot get this glue off at all. I mean there's beautiful hardwoods underneath of it but I've even tried dry ice. I've tried everything on the market and we cannot get this off. So that's why I wanted to throw a rug down. So that is pretty much my craft room. I hope you have enjoyed everything. You can see I'm kind of in the middle of a project. So I'm gonna finish over here with my messy desk and all of that stuff. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope I've inspired you to be creative in your own space today as well.